What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren Thompson and today we got some really exciting news about an upcoming Marvel Disney Plus show that I am personally super excited for. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special which has been confirmed to be coming this year and apparently it's going to be introducing some new characters to the MCU that you may not be expecting like perhaps Santa Claus. This is a big rumor going around right now and it looks like Mark Hamill could actually actually be the actor playing Santa Claus. I personally really hope this happens. It would be a great way to end 2022 that is going to be just jam-packed with Marvel projects. We are getting a ton of Disney Plus content this year in 2022. Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, What If Season 2 has been confirmed to be coming out this year, The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, and Secret Invasion sometime in 2022 as well. Not to mention the movies that are also coming out as well this year. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. It's a great year for Marvel fans. But right now, James Gunn is praising the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special as one of the best things he's ever done. And at one point in time, he did say that you're gonna have to watch this to actually know what's going on in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, so it is going to be an important show. Here's a direct quote from James Gunn about the Holiday Special. It's in canon, it's about the Guardians, you're gonna learn stuff that you need to learn before Volume 3, and it's great. I'm really happy with it. So basically take this as a short Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Now I hope Thor shows up, and we do actually have a new look at Thor's costume for Thor Love and Thunder that was actually revealed by Hallmark for a Christmas ornament. Which is kind of weird because we're not anywhere near Christmas, but we'll definitely talk about that. But let's talk about how James Gunn says that this is the greatest thing that he's ever done. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. On Twitter, comicbook.com posted a quote from James Gunn saying that James Gunn calls Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special the greatest thing that he's ever done with the quote by James Gunn saying, it's totally ridiculous, we all completely love it. Which is fantastic because that's what the Guardians of the Galaxy are, a completely ridiculous group of superheroes that we love. Now James Gunn actually went on to kind of talk to people on Twitter and give a little bit of information about what to expect from the Holiday Special. In response to James Gunn's quote saying it's the best thing that he's ever done, a user on Twitter, Brian Atkins, added James Gunn saying, not that there's anything wrong with it, but is this true, James Gunn? I've always loved Guardians of the Galaxy, and Peacemaker was on another level, so if this is true, holy crap. In which James Gunn replied, I did say that, but I'm prone to hyperbole, and usually think the current thing I'm working on is the best thing I've ever done. That said, I really do love it, and I think people are going to be very happy this Christmas with what we're creating. So James Gunn did say that. He did say it's the greatest thing that he's ever done. Now, of course, he explains that he can get caught up in the moment like any of us can, but still, the fact that he said it's the greatest thing he's ever done combined with the fact that it's in canon and we have to know it, we have to watch this special to know what's happening in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, means that this is going to be pretty special. James Gunn continued to respond to more fans, clarifying some things about the special, like how long is it going to be and where to watch it. James Gunn tweeted, it is a TV special on Disney Plus. It is TV special length. Now TV specials kind of vary in time, but they typically are around about 90 minutes long. So this isn't like a Disney Plus series. There's not going to be more than one episode. It's one thing. It's a TV special, which means it's kind of like a mini movie. And again, it's going to be very important because James Gunn also tweeted, more than one great new MCU characters will be introduced in the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, which is awesome. And speaking of new characters, there's a rumor going around right now, and it's based off of speculation on something Mark Hamill and James Gunn have done, that Mark Hamill could be playing Santa Claus in the holiday special which could be one of those great MCU characters that James Gunn was talking about, Santa Claus. Now what's very interesting and kind of epic is that Santa Claus is an actual character from Marvel Comics. So it's not like they're just taking Santa Claus from the Christmas holiday and putting him into the MCU. He is an actual character. And not gonna lie, he's kind of actually really OP. He's kind of insanely powerful. It depends on what story you're reading, but there are a lot of instances where he's really strong. For example, in one storyline with the X-Men, Cerebro detected the most powerful mutant ever registered in the New York's Rockefeller Center. Now, this mutant was also detected by the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. And of course, they also sought out this mutant, so the X-Men and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants both went to the Rockefeller Center, which of course resulted in a battle. But check out how this ended. Santa briefly transformed the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants into inanimate toys. 
He then teleported the X-Men away, and then he erased both groups' memories of his involvement, and then he made it snow for the first time on Christmas in years. The dude kind of literally defeated the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Then in another story, he actually saved the entire city of New York from Hatemonger. Then at one point, he actually teams up with She-Hulk. One of Santa's abilities is the ability to know who is naughty and nice, and at one point he decides to use this ability to become a great detective, where he went by the name Nick St. Christopher. So there are a lot of cool stories. Now, like I said, the rumor going around is that Mark Hamill could be playing Santa Claus, and recently, somebody made some fan art of Mark Hamill as Santa Claus and put it on Twitter, where both James Gunn and Mark Hamill liked the tweet. Now, of course, this could just be a coincidence, and they could like this just just by liking the idea of it, and it may not be true. But consider this, it was rumored for an extremely long time that Mark Hamill would be playing the High Evolutionary in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And while we're pretty sure at this point in time that Chuck Woody Iwuji is going to be playing the High Evolutionary, one has to wonder where these rumors and reports actually came from. Now, James Gunn and Mark Hamill are actually very close friends. And keep in mind right now, Star Wars is a part of Disney, and Mark Hamill is a part of Star Wars, and Marvel is a part of Disney as well. So if James Gunn wanted his buddy Mark Hamill in a movie or TV special, it wouldn't be that hard. They're all really part of the same family. So perhaps some of these reports were a little bit off. Perhaps Mark Hamill is in a Guardians of the Galaxy project. It's just not Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special where he could be playing Santa Claus, which is kind of a pretty cool thought, but let me know what you think about this. Now, speaking of holiday specials and holiday related things, like I mentioned, we do have a new look at Thor's costume for Thor Love and Thunder from a Christmas ornament. It's very different than what we have recently seen Thor wear. In Avengers Endgame, his suit was really dark. It was pretty much dark gray, dark silver, and black. But here we kind of have a little bit more of a classic Thor look in a way, where his suit is mostly blue and gold. And check this out, he's wearing his helmet and it looks like it has the wings on top of it. But overall, this suit actually looks really, really good. And I think it's a good twist on his comic costume. Now, I don't know if Thor is going to appear in the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special since Thor Love and Thunder is before for both the Holiday Special and Guardians 3, but I think if you were in the Holiday Special, it would be even more hilarious. But let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Would you like to see Mark Hamill play Santa Claus? Now that I know it's a possibility, I personally really, really want this to happen. But what about you? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.